Justice of the Peace, pushing to give more rights to renters in our area. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chelsea Helms. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill in Fayetteville to show us how not everyone is on board with minimum standards for rental housing properties after taking a first look at this ordinance. When your hard-earned money is going to pay for a place for you and your family to live, it really ought to meet some minimum standards. A functioning smoke alarm, source of electricity, heating, in an operable entry door are just a few of nine conditions a landlord must meet under an ordinance Washington County Justice of the Peace Sue Madison is pushing for. However, the ordinance does not impose a penalty if these conditions are not met. Well, sometimes the options at, at the lower rental rates are not broad. You might have just a few to pick from, and they might not be very good places. And what I'll always remember is children don't get to pick where they live. Madison points to a house fire in West Fork that killed two children because of its living conditions. The house only had one entry point, and two children were sleeping in a room that had no door to the outside and no windows and the front door was blocked. Arkansas is the only state in the entire country without an implied warranty of habitability law. Now, similar bills have failed to make it out of the legislature in the past. This ordinance was met with some criticism from the Quorum Court. I don't think the Quorum Court has the people or the sheriff's department or anyone else the, the authority to enforce this. I mean, the good landlords don't need it. The people that have educated themselves on how to lease a property don't need it, and the rest of them will never see it. So I don't, I don't think we're going to accomplish a lot with this. The ordinance specifies that the tenant would still owe the rent even if the conditions are not met. And I think most landlords wouldn't want to knowingly ignore the law. At this point, Madison says provisions still need to be made, then it will be taken back to committee. In Fayetteville, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.